Okay, we're back in the orchard for Eat and Be Eaten. Today we're looking at, right here, we got a mango tree. Actually, this is the same guy we mulched. You can see the Gliracidia now. If you can get in there, Hannah, from last week is now rotting and that's gonna be good for the tree. But if you come up here, you'll notice we've got some fungal rot um, happening on the leaves, especially right here. But you can see it's spreading all over, going kind of brown over here. I'm not exactly sure which type of fungus it is, but what I am going to do is treat it for just sort of a overall fungal treatment, and it's going to be a do-it-yourself, organic type, really gentle, easy. Anyone can do this for um, plants, especially if they're in your house, you don't want nasty fungicides, or if you don't want those in your orchard, we're going to use baking soda with a little soap and oil in water. So look, if you come over here, we have another mango tree, and this one is really healthy. I mean, these leaves are just absolutely beautiful. So what we do not want is for that fungus to jump over to this tree or that mango tree right up there, we have a third one, right? And so the baking soda treatment actually works best as a preventative measure. I'm gonna spray it here. We're gonna see uh, if it has any effect on that. And we're gonna spray these two trees as well. So let's go make it. It's super simple. We're just gonna dump a little baking soda and oil in some water in a spray bottle. And then we're gonna come back and spray our trees. We're going to take two tablespoons of the baking soda. So I put my two tablespoons of baking soda in this. I'm going to give it a little glug of vegetable oil. And that's going to help um, the solution to stick to the leaves. By just spraying some of these most affected leaves. Okay, so we're here the next morning after the first spray. Um, the leaves look okay. Some of the white has kind of turned black. Uh, so I'm going to give it one more round on these badly infected leaves. First, got to make sure you shake up, and it's good that it's not sunny. That'll ensure that there's no burn happening on the leaves. And uh, we'll just keep at it here, checking day by day. Okay, so this is now about a day and a half after the first spray with our baking soda solution. And you can see the fungus in areas, have a look at this leaf, is starting to blacken. Mm. I think that means it's dying. Oh. I think that's good news. So what we're gonna do is now expand our spraying tomorrow morning, or even this evening, after the sun goes down, we'll expand our spraying and hopefully we can get this tree rocking and rolling. A Couple of days later now and you can really see the impact on the leaves, that fungus blackening where it was sprayed with the baking soda. So that is effective. And, and so now what we're gonna do is spray the other mangoes and make sure this stuff doesn't jump. All right, so there you go. For eat and be eaten, baking soda fungicide. Aloha.